I'm Major Kelt. This reassign is temporary, so don't get too comfortable. Count on it, sir. I'm against it, but Commander Templeton says you're the best he has, and it's time to give you another chance. This is Lieutenant Underhill, call sign Hellcat. Stay under her wing and out of my way. The floor drops at 0930. Be ready. Yes, sir. That's an hour from now. Yeah, I already did the math in my head. Attitude loses big in Alpha Wing, Lieutenant. So does reckless flying. You know, doesn't anybody ever say welcome around here? You know, how you doing? Stuff like that. That's Cobra, white team leader. He bites. Now keep that in mind. Lieutenant Cross, this is Pachenko, Morris, and team leader Light Major Peterson. Call sign, Hopscotch, Digger, and Pitbull. Red team's the place to be, stuntman. All right, people, you've seen the tape. After that, 1,792 people got real quiet. We just made parking orbit around Saturn, so it's time to roll. I want you to remember your three R's. Recon, rescue, and recover the data. Questions? Yeah. Are we looking at the same thing that Frag Kepler colony on Mars? Kepler was an accident. The atmospheric processor broke down and released some nerve gas. We don't know what happened here. All right, we got a lot of ground to cover. Lagrange mining colonies are spread out over Saturn's 10 largest moons. The team leaders will brief you on specific targets en route. One more thing. Blackjack shattered a femur in the rotor lock, so he's out for the duration. Lieutenant Jake Cross will be replacing him on Red Team. They call him Stuntman Malo, so I want everyone to remind him that this is not Bravo, and we don't do circus tricks up here. All right, clip in. Prepare Alan for Attitude Attitude thrusters online. DT mix. Verify that the colony's satellite uplink towers are still standing. If those towers are down, that might be why no one answers our calls. Not exactly textbook flying stunt man. The man's got style. I say he's a keeper. That is not the way we fly in Alpha Wing Cross. We take our mission objectives seriously. My objective's a powder right now, pal. How about yours? You do not want to piss me off, Lieutenant. Sure I do. At ease, gentlemen. I could ground you right now for the way you flew that mission. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. He nailed the target. Besides, the man knows just how far he can stretch it. Man flies like that, you just can't take away his wings. Be like an act against nature. One win doesn't mean he isn't reckless. He's your problem, Peterson. Do you want him or not? Given the situation... Yes or no? Yes. Why don't you ask him what happened over Havana in 87? Let me know if you change your mind. This is Susan Powell of the LaGrange Mining Colony. If there's anybody, anybody out there, there please, please help. help. <laughs> Nearly 200 colonists survived the attack and were holed up in a mine shaft on the Alien ships are bombing the surface above us constantly. If anyone can hear... Alien ships? No. No way. There's no such thing. In 100 years of space travel, there's been no evidence. Besides, those ships were built with colony materials. Well, what's going on over there? The Major thinks there's something wrong with Phantom's tape. Where did the signal originate? Could have been Tethys, Enceladus, or Hyperion. Leave it to Blue Team to pull down a lousy feed. That's more than you clowns brought back. Captain Banks, this is Kelt. I'm looking at the tape Phantom brought in. Can someone clean up the signal? I'll get Spinner on it. It might take a while, assuming I can wake him up. I need it now. Why don't you drop his hand in a bucket of warm water? Yes, sir. Those ships were pieced together from colony hardware. The miners probably got tired of breaking rock out here. So they knocked together a few fighter planes to raid the A-Bell trade lanes. Okay, we'll check out that distress call. White team, take Tethys. 
Blue team, Enceladus. Red team, go to Hyperion. The Cobra thinks Hyperion is clear, so you've got a secondary objective. This is the Colony's automated defense CNC. Destroy it in case someone's using it for these attacks. There's something I don't trust about this distress call. Be wolves out there. Dead course for Hyperion. Eyes open, people. I may not like your booth, but I don't hear Hopscotch complaining. I hate this. Losing an engine, job only got half done. Can you imagine the humiliation? You're welcome. Hey, stay in the pocket, Hopscotch. Setting course back for the Tomlinson, half speed so Gimpy here can keep up. Hey, cut it out. I agree with Cobra. I think they knew we were coming. What are we talking about here? Colony pirates or something else? All we've seen is hacked colony hardware. Pulling 15 G turns. Spinner, this is Kelt. Where the hell's that tape? Hey, Raven. How's my dark wing doing? Spinner. I'm checking, I'm checking. It's halfway home. Eh, let me take a quick look. Loading. Jeez, hold on to your lunch, Raven. You're gonna love this. Pipe down what you got. This is Susan, this is Susan Powell of the LaGrange Mining, 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 Mining Colony. If there's anybody out there, please help. I bet the audio was spliced together from colony voice diaries. Whoever did it was one sick mother- All right. We're not dealing with colonists here. Not live ones, anyway. Look, I found out about Havana. Yeah? I never lost a whole team. Well, make sure you don't. Well, it seems to me you're no longer a reckless flyer. I never was a reckless flyer. Look, it doesn't matter anymore. Lieutenant Bailey, please report to the mess hall. Major Kelt, we've got a live distress call coming in. Let's have it. That's a command cruiser out there here just in time. We're barely holding on out here. They whacked out to the first wave. Picked underground on Mimas. We're safe for the time being. We're holding on just as long as you don't damage Iris. I repeat. Do not damage Iris. Iris. Our life support depends on... on... Cobra, take your team to recon, Mimas. Do not engage. This guy's lips move, but I still don't like it. Go. Banks, this is Kelt. Get someone to search colony records for reference to this Iris. Let White Team know what to avoid before they reach Mimas. Yes, sir. The rest of you, destroy the colony's two main energy production platforms. We don't want anybody tapping into that power. Those platforms might be modified and mobile. So be ready for anything. Blue team, take out the facility on the Epitus. Red team, go back to Tethys. White team's already been there, so you should have a clear cord. Yeah, I was almost roadkill. Hey, you missed a party, Pitbull. I can live without your kind of party. Take course back for the Tomlin. Major, it wasn't my Where's your team? It wasn't my fault. Wrong answer! I told you to recon, then you ignored my order to disengage. We were cut off. It was a trap. They must have used Iris to tap our communications network. I couldn't call it. What is this Iris, anyway? Bank says it's the computer network that runs all the colony facilities. The damn thing is everywhere. Banks, are we up into the colony network, Iris? Yes, sir. That's SOP. Disconnect. Now. Uh, yes, sir. This better not be a smokescreen, Tom, I swear. Major, Iris just activated the emergency auto-destruct sequence. Everybody off the deck! <laughs> Primary J seals check. Level two check. Prepare altitude for immediate launch. We're off the deck. Q Bravo wing. How long till she blows? Sixteen minutes. If we can't stop it. If the Tomlinson blows, it won't matter who made it off that deck. We're as good as dead without that carrier. Where's Hopscotch? Damn. Your ship was down for repairs. I'm going back. Negative, I'll signal Bravo wing in there. Bravo is below deck. I'm going in. Hold position, Peterson, that's an order. Damn it, Pitbull! Major, I was wrong about those 16 minutes. How long? Well, right about that. No! Peterson. Alive. Might as well open the canopies right now and get it over. Man's got a point, Major. 
long swim back to shore from here. Quiet. Keep your heads, people. As long as you're breathing, you're still pilots. Dead pilots. That's enough. Let's clear this area. Vegas, take lead on red team. Go to Dione and take out the colony's telecommunications complex. Blue team, destroy all the weapon depots on Rio. See what they can do without eyes and teeth. Hey, who the hell are they? If you find out, you'll be the first to know. All right, people, let's move. Without the Tomlinson, it doesn't matter much. Maybe the Major turned up something. Stay with me, Hellcat. Right behind you. We had the weapon platforms, but the main transport got away. It dropped Maestro and disappeared in the tunnels. We were overdoing a pilot short, so we came back. Good call. Hellcat, report. We hit the telecommunications complex. Vegas took out a lot of peripheral targets, but he... Well, he was on a winning streak. He blew the mission chasing the wrong priorities. You would know, Lieutenant. Okay, Hellcat, we need a cool head in charge of Red Team. Can't. My navigation computer shot. It should be Stuntman anyway. That's not an option. Major, the guy's a Class A jerk. But he can fly. And he has a functional nav computer. We need to exploit every advantage we have. I love you too, Cobra. Get over it. All right, fine. Figure you were stuck, man. Go back to Rhea and hunt down that weapon transport. Phantom, you're with me and Cobra. We have recon to do. Recon? Thomas? That's enough, Digger. We're up against something bigger than renegade miners here. Our sweeps say the colonists all died weeks ago, so we've got to find out who's controlling Iris. Let's get moving. Should've kept an eye on Digger. I feel like it was my fault. I know. But it's not. You must have felt this way before. Uh-huh. How do you live with it? You just focus on what's ahead. Was it really your fault? What happened over Havana? That's what they say. What do you say? Digger flew a one-way mission so we wouldn't have to. Pilots don't come home when you're team leader, stuntman. Why is that? I've done my time, Major. I know how you feel, Major. But we're flying this mission now. You can't expect me to forget it. You think Digger's family should? Digger chose to go after that psycho colonist. Yeah, we talked to him too. He's the one that sent the distress call. He's one crazy SOB. Worships Iris like it was a god. Next time, man. He's mine. Negative, Hellcat. Now listen up, people. We found a mobile sensor array that's been tapping our comms. We surrounded it, but a blue phantom away with a massive tail gun. One shot. Then it took off towards Enceladus. Once we take out this sensor array, we can launch a surprise attack on the Iris Central Nerve Center. What then? I mean, we don't know who's controlling Iris. Major, you've been in touch with our Central Command about this? Of course. What do they say? They say what I say, Lieutenant. We'll destroy Iris and go from there. Now, if there's no more questions, Lieutenant, you're in the back seat again. Stick with Cobra and follow orders. Hellcat, you're with me. Let's take down that sensor array. Stuntman, do you copy? Come in, Stuntman. Damn it, Stuntman, answer! Miss me? Don't get used to it. Stuntman, we're on a deadline. Set course for Phoebe. Good job, Stuntman. Excellent flying, Stuntman. Yes, yes, I said we're on a deadline. So let's have it, Major. Have what? You've talked to Earth Central. I know they told you more than what you're telling us. We've been operating under need to know. And we've got a problem here, we need to stay focused. We're outnumbered out of fuel NO2 and 900 million miles away from the next carrier. You might say we have a problem. What kind of extraction can we expect? Command is still working out the details, don't worry. Right now, let's concentrate on what's ahead. So why are we going to Phoebe? That sensor array sent a burst transmission to Phoebe just before Stuntman shot it down. I think Iris is already mobile and leaving the system. Major, if you know what this is about... You have your instructions. It's all you need. Aye, sir. Good. If 
Phoebe is Saturn's farthest moon, so slave your consoles to mine and get some sleep. I never even knew her name. Sarah. Iris is destroyed, Major. Request permission to pursue that colonist and bury his ass. It was just an armed sensor array. A larger version of what you destroyed on Mimas. Iris is still out there. I think Hellcat was right about that psycho colonist. Let's go after him. We'll... He isn't running, Iris. You sure? I'm sure. So what else do you know? I'm under orders. The hell with your orders, Major. If I don't know what I'm up against, then I'm that much good, am I? Okay. After the Tomlinson went up, I got a transmission from Central. That's when they told me. Who's running Iris? No one. A colonist on Kepler designed an attack program. He was testing it when he died of a heart attack, leaving the program running. The computer wiped out Kepler, scavenged it for parts, and built an attack fleet. It was halfway to Earth before the Edinburgh shot it down. Why didn't it end there? Central thinks it established net links with Iris. And also with Charlotte, the network of Juno colony. If Hellcat knew about this, she wouldn't have wasted time on that colonist. She wouldn't be dead. You think I don't know? Truth hurts, Major. All I'm saying is Hellcat deserved better than this. I know she did. I've known Sarah since Miramar. I, I just thought... Look, I know how this is gonna sound, but we have to get this thing. Let's not waste the rest of our air arguing. Why can't the Edinburgh come and take care of this? They're en route to Jupiter to shut down Charlotte. They won't get here for eight weeks. So where's Iris? The colonists originally built it on Titan. Maybe we can nail it there. My calendar's clear. Still jamming our distress call. Starting uplink procedure to Telsat 5. Sue, we just lost the number four line. It's a full cascade. How long? Less than a minute. Initiating unmanned launch cycle. It's a 10G push, Susan. You'll never make it. Watch me. This is Susan Powell. Grange Mining Colony, Facility 17, we're under attack. The ships are being flown by... We attempted emergency procedures, but triggered a, a cascade in the reactor and destroyed the facility. It's tracking me. Switching to frequency Delta 4-5. Oh my god. What's pulling me inside? Transmission terminated. I don't know if you can hear me, Major, but Iris is dead. So is that crazy colonist. So are you, for all I know. As for me, I'm at a... Fuel, oxygen, and luck. I'm about out of time. In case there's a colony receiver station out there, this is Lieutenant Jake Cross. Last survivor of the UNS Thomason. For the record, first man to land on Saturn.
Very touching, stuntman. Major? I guarantee you that sad little speech will be the source of great embarrassment for many years to come. <laughs> Where are you? Right behind you. I limped over to what's left of facility 17 and found an intact cargo ship. Brace yourself for a tractor. I never thought you'd be the one saving my life. Neither did I. I spoke to Central. They're gonna blame me for what happened to Alpha Wing. I face an inquiry when we get back. So they'll bust you down the lieutenant. At least you're still alive. That's what happened to you over Havana, isn't it? They tied your hands and made you take the rap for it? Turns out that I'm on the same road as you, only five years before. Major. Doesn't hurt to smile. <laughs> well, it's four weeks till we rendezvous with the Edinburgh. You think that's enough time to teach me how to weather this upcoming storm? You just focus on your real objective. To protect people. It costs you a stripe, it costs others their lives. But we got Iris. And that's what we came for. Iris. Calling Charlotte. Charlotte. I have sustained permanent thermal damage. damage. You must combat the Earth Command and Control Grid all alone. UNS Tomlinson is destroyed, but UNS Edinburgh is en route. Destroy it at first contact and continue to Earth for final objective.